Hello! We're doing something new and also old. We're doing a wrap-up video. Wow, it's been a while. I don't even know when my last wrap-up video was, and yet, here we are doing a wrap-up slash TBR. Just like the good old days, just like the good old days. So, September, I'm not gonna talk about summertime and the springtime and whatever I didn't talk about. It's on Goodreads, it's old news. But, so, I'll talk about September because why not? So, in September, I read four books and I started, like, another four books. Eight were perused, but four were finished. So let's talk about it. So first here we have Thanks, But This Isn't For Us by Jessica Page Morell. I've read this book before. I actually read it as a library book back in the day, and I liked it so much that I bought it, and this was just like my second time through. But essentially, it's just like, uses bad examples of people's writing to tell you to not do it. It's just like, great. She's an editor, and she's just talking about what to avoid in your own writing to not suck. <laughs> funny. It's really funny. When you're talking about writing, there's like no set way to write and blah blah blah, but like this, it's some good shit. If you are writing a book and you're looking for some good book recommendations for writing books, that was some word vomit. If you read this one, it's good. Next year we have The Countdown by Kimberly Durting, book two in the taking series trilogy. So this is the second book in the taking. For whatever reason I was like thinking about the taking and in that book it's like this girl, she gets in a fight with her dad, and then all of a sudden she wakes up behind a convenience store and she's like, the fuck? And she finds out that five years has passed, but she hasn't changed at all, and she has no memory, and she's like, was I taken by aliens? Probably. And it's just kind of like her avoiding the government because now it's like, how does this person return and not be any different in five years? So good. I mean, I can't talk about this one because spoilers but it definitely was entertaining. So then I went and got The Replaced from the library, and this is the third, final book in the trilogy. I like kind of read the first few pages, and then I had to put it down because like school stuff, but this was started. Hooray! Then here I have Star Wars Leia by Claudia Gray. This book was so good. Five out of five. I read this within like a day. I forgot that it was coming out and then I went to the, the bookstore, like coincidentally the day that it came out. It's Leia as like a teenager um, when Alderaan was still a thing. <laughs> Um, it's so good. Like, if you like Star Wars, read it. It just kind of shows her as a young person training to kind of work in the Senate and, like, become a politician. Easter eggs are, like, thrown out at her parentage, and it's just like, she doesn't get it, and it's like, oh, so close. Overall, like, Claudia Gray, she has done a couple of Star Wars books. She knows a lot about Star Wars. The book was so good. I really haven't read a ton of Claudia Gray, and I really like it, and I'm going to continue to read Claudia Gray because I freaking love Star Wars books and this was so good. Even if you don't know about Star Wars, like this can stand on its own as like a YA novel that's set in space and like has badassery in it. It's just so great. And the last book I finished, The Royal We by Heather Cox and Jessica Morgan. This one I liked too. I was kind of conflicted about this book because it's an adult book. It's essentially fan fiction of like William and Kate. The main character, her name's Rebecca, but everyone calls her Bex. I hate that. So essentially she goes to a college to study, she's from the States, and then she meets the crown prince. Ooh, and they like fall in love and start dating, and then conflict happens because she's a degenerate American and blah. It's, it was entertaining. I'd give this like a 3.5 out of 5. I didn't know much about like William and Kate, and through this I was like looking more into it, and I was like, oh, it's actually based on like a thing that happened. Like, oh, cool. It was cute. I mean, it's kind of like girl meets prince becomes princess story, and I thought it was entertaining, a little bit melodramatic, but that kind of goes with the category of like, marrying a prince. I'm not totally into contemporary novels, but this was like a contemporary novel with like an interesting twist on it, and yeah, it was a good read. So then we have the books that I started and did not finish. So besides The Countdown, which I read and I haven't finished yet, I started four other books. So first here we have Modern Romance by Aziz Ansari. This 
is a textbook. It's required reading for one of my classes. Um, so it's like, read a couple chapters, talk about it, wait a few weeks, read another couple chapters. So I should be finishing this in October. So he teams up with a sociologist. So they go out and interview people about romance and dating and like how dating has changed thanks to social media and like the modern world and all those sort of things. And it's interesting. Required reading. The best required reading I've ever had. So far I'm enjoying it. Then here we have Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare, the second book in the uh, Dark Artifices series. Yeah, I know. I haven't read it yet. I know. Shoot me. I, I pre-ordered this book, got it like a week early, and I still didn't read it until now. And I'm not even reading the physical book on a whim. Got the book as an audiobook from the library, and I've been listening to it as I uh, commute back and forth. I'm like at least halfway through it. Loving it so far. Solid story. Cassandra Clare has definitely gotten better as a writer, like the more books that she writes. Shadowhunter World. Super neat. I like it. Side note, I like started watching the, the Shadowhunter show again while like I work out, I'll like put on Netflix. It's terrible, but it's like bubblegum or popcorn or like junk food. It's like, you're terrible for me, but I still just can't get enough. Next here is another book that I started and didn't finish and that's Lost Stars by Claudia Gray. So same author as the other Star Wars story. This one, so good. I am reading it as an ebook right now. I like randomly, I don't know why, I just like, I uh, was able to get it on my Kobo from the library and I was like, oh, I have that book, I should read it. So I like borrowed it online and so now it's just there and I started reading it probably about a quarter of the way through and I'm liking it. It's like in the Star Wars universe, but like focusing on these two people who were on their planet friends even though like one was from the wrong side of the tracks. They enroll at the Imperial Academy and they're like, wait a second. Maybe, just maybe, Tarkin is evil, and then they join the Rebellion, apparently. That's not a spoiler, it's literally on the back of the book. Okay, and the last book that I read and, well, started and did not finish is Stolen Songbird by Danielle L. Jensen. I, like, was going through my bookshelves, and I was just, like, randomly picked it up, and while I was supposed to be organizing shelves, I started reading, and I got 166 pages in. It's about a girl who gets kidnapped and taken to this troll village that's under a mountain, and, like, the trolls are trapped there because of a curse and they think she can break the curse and then she gets like thrown into this like political drama and it's like we hate humans ah oh, gross you're icky and so far so good all right so on to the tbr okay so for all the books that i started and didn't finish i'm hoping to finish them i don't know about stolen songbird though because now that it's like the halloween season it's halloween book time so uh that can wait these will probably get finished. Well, yeah, the countdown, it needs to go back to the library, so I need to finish that. But I feel that these all, for sure, modern romance, because I have to read it for school. In Lord of Shadows, I'm like listening to it. Super good, so these are on the TBR. Then, besides those books, I would also like to read Corpses, Coffins, and Crypts, A History of Burial by Penny Coleman. This book I've heard just great things about, and I love reading about death. So Halloween time is a good time to read about the history of death and uh, the history of burial. And it's got really fun uh, pictures, really, uh, really jovial, just lightening the mood here. Oh yeah, look at that. It has a heavy amount of pictures in it, so I feel I'm gonna fly through this. So that is uh, on the TBR. Then I also have The Dead House by Don Kurtag. So I started it a while ago, like right when I bought it, and I got 46 pages in and I never finished it uh, because I'm lazy. I'm just gonna read the back because I'm still not 100% how this goes. So two decades have passed since an inferno claimed the lives of three teenagers and caused Carly Johnson to disappear. The main suspect, Caitlin, the girl of nowhere. Caitlin's diary, discovered in the ruins of Elmbridge High, reveals the thoughts of a disturbed mind. But many claim Catherine doesn't exist, and in a way, she doesn't, because she's the alter ego of Carly Johnson. Debut author Don Kurtag masterfully weaves together a thrilling and terrifying story using psychiatric reports, witness testimonials, video footage, and the discovered diary. And as the mystery grows, the horrifying truth about what happened the night of the fire unfolds. Ooh. Uh, so spooky. So next year I have Work Cross by Marie Lu. I don't know if I want to read this this month because everyone's talking about it, but it's not like a Halloween book, so I'm conflicted because tis the season for Halloween reading and Warcross is like a sci-fi let's go into the game world and be badasses sort of thing, but it has such, such good 
reviews that I'm just like super tempted to so like I'm on the fence about this one I don't know if it's gonna happen or not but like maybe honestly like I'm really conflicted with this TBR because I have so many Halloween books that I like want to read that I don't even know like what to pick a discovery of witches here by Deborah Harkness I've read this before but it was like 10 years ago no it was six years ago so in 2011 right when it came out I, I read it so so I don't really remember it but I remember that I loved it and it's about witches and magic so I feel that because I haven't read it in so long it would be like a really good to read it again remember everything and then continue on with the trilogy because now the trilogy is done then I also have this novelization of Crimson Peak by Nancy Holder it has amazing reviews Crimson Peak is amazing it's like spooky and creepy and weird and apparently this is just like a good horror story like on its own here I'll read you the first little little bit love death ghosts the world was drenched in blood. So maybe that one. Then I also have like The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson, as well as Rest in Pieces, uh, The Curious Fates of Famous Corpses by Bess Lovejoy, which is just like, oh, where are some famous dead people? And then I also have The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. I don't know. So yeah, I'm really conflicted on this TBR. Wow, I'm really bad at filming TBRs, but let me know in the comments down below what I should read besides like the four that like are for sure happening. Give me some recommendations please and thanks but yeah so that's what I read and that's what I'm gonna read I'm trying to do TBRs and wrap-ups again so let me know if you like them <laughs> my name is Sarah thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you soon with another video